Hi everyone! So I am going to review the SodaStream and open it up, uh, or box unveil or however it's called. So here it is right here. Uh, this is not the first time I've ever had this. I do have um, a, a SodaStream that I've used uh, for the past month. So it didn't work all that well, so I called customer service and asked if there was something that I was doing that was wrong uh, or if it was just something that was wrong with the actual SodaStream itself. And yeah, the lady on the phone was super nice. She said that it was uh, something that was wrong with my uh, SodaStream maker, so she sent me a new one. So for free. So I just had to send them the receipt, the proof that I bought it, and answer some questions and stuff. So really awesome uh, customer service with SodaStream. So I'm gonna open it up and uh, I'm gonna do a taste test. Now the taste test I'm gonna do is for the My Water, which is uh, not uh, sweetened, which is perfect because we don't drink all that much pop. Um, I generally have an addiction to Perrier, which is why I bought this, because Perrier is ridiculously expensive, so I thought that I could maybe save some, some money with this, so that's why I bought it. Plus, it's really hard to go out and buy like a big carton of Perrier or soda water, uh, just carrying it along with uh, the twins and my older daughter, all that stuff every time I went to get groceries. It's just way too much stuff. So I thought I'd save my back and save some money and bought so Here it is. Mommy? We're gonna open it up. We yes? We're gonna open it up. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna show everybody how to use it. Okay. So inside the box. Mom. Whoa. Can you see my face or no? I can see your face if you stick it over here. Is this and I have the jet version, which I think is maybe the cheapest kind that you can get. I don't know. It's a lot of different versions out there. You can get really expensive kinds or cheap ones. Um, this is the kind I got. It was on sale. So the Soda Stream Jet. So inside comes the actual unit itself. And the instructions, uh, license certificate, it's got a bottle that's already attached, if I can unattach it that would be awesome. there we go, bottle, it's a one liter bottle, the lid and specific instructions not to put it in the dishwasher so it's hand wash so that's it it's really awesome because you don't have to plug it in there's no electricity so it's really easy to use uh, and it pretty much there's nothing there's no building there's no putting things together it, it is what it is so um, I'm just gonna grab my co2 cartridge and I'm gonna put it all together and I'm gonna wash this first before I put water in it. Okay. Okay, so I have cleaned out my water bottle and I have filled up the bottle with cold water up into the line that it says to. I've got my CO2 tank. Now this is supposed to last uh, 60 liters worth. So, here's the unit itself, and there's two little gray buttons on the back, so squeeze those, and it pulls off the back. And now you take the CO2, put it up through the bottom hole there. See that? Ooh, there we go. Yep. So we just screw that in like so. Just so it's tight, not too too tight, but so it's right in there. And then we just a matter of clock 
put this back back on like that now to use it it's really easy we just grab our water press this button up here which brings this forward and all you do is just put your water bottle on like that I'm doing it backwards so you can see like so twist the water in so that's tight and there you go now on the top there's a green button and it says press firmly and release quickly repeat until you hear a loud buzz so let's see if this works because this is where my last one had problems so here we go one two three there's the buzz there's another buzz three buzzes so that's a loud buzz or loud three loud buzzes and I like to do a couple extra times make it busy and that's it so we press this button and it releases and you can hear it making that fizzy noise like as if you just opened up a bottle of pop voila fizzy water perfect so it's just very fizzy just plain fizzy water now I'm gonna try this here it's called my water by soda stream and it's apparently it's unsweetened and what it says is add a drop to sparkling water for a splash of fruit flavor there's orange lemon lime and berry Barry, what are you going to do? And it says in instructions, add half a teaspoon of my water to one liter of sparkling water. All right, so I'm going to, what flavor? Flavor what? Of water. We, we got what? There's lemon lime. You want that one? The little glass bottles. That's berry. And orange. Um, that one, that pink one. This berry? One. Yeah, berry. Okay. Can I smell it again? Yep. A little bit. Smell. So it doesn't change the color. It's just supposed to be a mild flavor. Can I try it? I don't taste anything. <laughs> I don't taste anything. You don't think taste 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 anything either? No. Okay, let's try another little bit. There. That's almost a teaspoon's worth. I'll try it first. Maybe we need to stir it. You can see all the bubbles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a fizzy noise. Oh. Okay, I can taste it in that one. There's de definitely need more than a half a teaspoon. I need more. But it's not sweet, so it just kind of gives an aftertaste of berries. It's almost like uh, like gum. If you've chewed it too much and then there's no flavor at the end and you just kind of had that smell taste. That's kind of what that tastes like. So, not so, bad for a change, but it's not, uh, definitely it has no sugar, no, no sweetness to it. And that's it for the soda stream. So, my review for the soda stream is I love, this is my favorite thing. I got it for Christmas. Well, I got the other one that didn't work all that great. I got that for Christmas. And even though it didn't work all that good from the beginning, the customer service was awesome. And I love Ooh. being able to make my own soda water at home. We've tried a couple of the flavors. We've tried uh, the cola. We've tried the orange pop. We've tried... Uh, let's see here. The Power Sport Aid one. 
Pew. Which was really good. Pew. We really liked the Power Sport Pew. Eve one. Pew. We've tried the ginger ale. Just a bunch of different ones. And they're all really good. They all taste pretty close to the actual things. And you can even make your own syrups. So I made my own lemonade with uh, lemon juice, a little bit of sugar. And that was awesome. It was just like a sparkling lemonade. It was really, really good. So uh, they range, you can buy at one for around $50 to I think top of the line soda streams around $200 um, but I have the low end and I love it so that's all I need is just the, the cheap version it's great so thanks for watching everyone let me know if you have any questions and check me out on Facebook thanks bye